Saturday, 23rd March 2024. Today's Rhapsody article is titled Remission of Sins. Our theme scripture is taken from Luke chapter 24, from verse 46 to 47. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. In Christ, we have remission of our sins. His substitutionary work in our behalf made us new creations. Our past and our sins were completely blotted out, entirely erased from God's memory, not just your own. So literally, what Jesus did was to take away the power of sin to prevent its destructive consequences. For that reason, the Bible says, For sin shall not have dominion over you. Romans 6.14 Jesus accomplished this for us. Acts chapter 13 from verse 38 to 39 says, Be it known unto you therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. The term forgiveness is derived from the Greek word aphesis, which specifically means remission of sins. Furthermore, those who believe in him are not only granted remission, but are also justified from all things. A status unattainable through the law of Moses, justification implies being acquitted, to be declared not guilty. Many Christians haven't fully grasped the depth of this truth. While Jesus indeed paid for the sins of the whole world, when you believe in him, you receive a new life. You become a new creature. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 is 17 a new person in the presence of God. In God's presence, you are brand new. This is what justification truly means. You stand acquitted, not merely paid for. Through your belief in the payment, he gave you eternal life, and you were born anew, with a new life without a past. You are now a new creature. This serves as the basis for your acquittal. The Bible says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5.1 In the presence of God, He sees you in Jesus Christ. He doesn't see the multitude of sins you've committed. Instead, He sees you as pure as Jesus. Let us take the prayer together. Dear Father, I thank you for making Jesus who knew no sin. To be seen for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. I pray for sinners around the world today that as they hear the gospel their hearts be open to receive the remission of sins already accomplished for them through the death of Christ to live unto righteousness in Jesus name Amen.